ancient texts describe an artifact known to them as the amplification rod. It is my firm belief this item is instrumental to harnessing the energy of the elemental stones. Unfortunately, neither the rod nor the stones have been recovered from any of our dig sites. I fear we must push forward regardless. As such, I have drawn up plans to create replica rods based on the descriptions from the main chamber. I will instruct Richtofen to begin fabrication immediately. Researching element 115 continues to yield unforeseen results. The conversion process creates localized energy fields, which appear to function as portals, bringing forth objects of indeterminate origin. It is my hypothesis, however outlandish, that this transfer of matter may actually be occurring through space and time. I believe the answer may lay with the broken rune stones located at the mound. Perhaps channeling sufficient energy from the conversion generators to their location may prove fruitful. It is by chance of fate alone that we unlock the seal to the main chamber. Repeated efforts to use brute force proved ineffective and left the men exhausted and frustrated. In an effort to alleviate the tension, one of the soldiers brought a gramophone to the chamber, along with a recording by a group of performers known as La Source Noire. To our astonishment, as we listened to the first few bars of music, the seal itself began to open. I cannot help but wonder if other such recordings may similarly reveal other areas of the catacombs. I cannot outrun my enemy in this mud. Only a madman would create such a machine that operates without human intervention. When 115 is channeled towards the ancient stones, an energy field appears to drag unknown objects into our reality. Is it possible that element 115 is disrupting the space-time continuum itself? How else could an ancient box created eons ago bring forth weapons from different eras, perhaps including even our own future? Further study is needed to understand these powerful and unpredictable forces. A fragment of some staff. Our fire has no effect on the giant's armor. We are deep within the machine. When I awoke this morning, I learned of mysterious events that took place during the night. Men working on the installation of the generators reported seeing ancient figures emerging from the mound. I would doubt their story, but for the fact that by morning, many of the men were either dead or missing. Her sequence initiated. Only a madman would create such a machine that operates without human intervention. The child's voice calls to me more frequently than ever. At first, she spoke only of her imprisonment in a mythical realm known as Agartha. Now she claims to be my daughter, even though I know no such child exists. I fear my sanity may be slipping away from me.